Hi guys, it's Justine, but you can call me Blondie, and today's video is going to be a kid's... I don't really know what to call it, like a kid's Christmas clothing, but not everything is clothing, kid's Christmas prep? I don't know, but I have a lot of like kid's stuff that is Christmas related that I'm going to show you guys. So, um, I think I'm going to start off with like a couple non-clothing items. The first things that I've got my two older kids, if you guys are new, I have a seven-year-old son, a three-year-old daughter, and a one-month-old daughter. So... I have a baby and two kids, basically. So I got the two older kids each a little Charlie Brown advent calendar. You can't start December without one of these um, guys. I got them these same advent calendars last year, actually, the Charlie Brown ones. They just seem to be the ones that like are the first to come out on display at the stores. Um, I don't know why, but I always see these ones first, and so I always pick them up. So I got these two. They are the Whitman's brand, um, and... Yeah, you can't have December without a chocolate advent calendar. That's just like a tradition in our house. And then, um, as you guys know, because I just said, uh, I have a one-month-old, and so each of my kids have their own elf for Elf on the Shelf. Um, so I got this little guy. I think it's supposed to be a girl. It kind of looks like a boy to me. Um, maybe it is a boy. I don't know. But uh, it's a knockoff Elf on the Shelf. I got it on Amazon. It's actually... Elves behaven very badly, and it's the Naughty Adult Elf, triple X rated, hilarious fun, 18 plus adults only. I don't know why it's considered an adult elf, because honestly, it's it's just an elf. There's nothing X rated about it, um, but I think it was like seven bucks, and we do elf on the shelf a little differently in my house. Um, my kids are allowed to like play with their elves and touch their elves and stuff, so we don't have the elf book because the rules in the elf book are different than the rules in our house. Um, and so, and then like, it's so hard to find a name brand elf on the shelf elf that doesn't come with the book. And I've been like searching eBay and stuff, trying to find like if seeing if someone's selling one for used without the book, I can't find any. So I just went ahead and got this one off Amazon. It is a knockoff. It is actually like, it looks, you can tell it's a knockoff. You can tell it's made like super cheaply. Like it's, not the greatest um, quality, honestly, but um, we needed a third one for the third kid. So got this guy or girl. I still don't know if it's a guy or a girl, but but we got them. And then something that my grandma got for the baby, um, she has a tradition where um, every time a baby's born, she gets them a Precious Moments ornament for their first Christmas. And so here is baby girl's Precious Moments um, for 2019, her first Christmas that my grandma got her. Um, it's just super cute. I have the other two kids. Um, we haven't actually decorated yet, but when I do decorate, I will probably show you the other two kids' um, Precious Moments ornaments as well because they're some of my favorite ornaments because I just love the tradition. And so that is for Baby Girl. And then I'm pretty sure those are all of the non clothes items so now let's get into the clothes items so the first are the matching pjs you'll probably see these again in my what i get my kids for christmas video because i always wrap my kids um matching christmas pjs and then they unwrap them on christmas eve so for this year we just went ahead and just got some plain red and black plaid um with a plain red and black shirt and I actually got these off Amazon but I was just at Target last night and they have some that look almost identical to this at Target for the same price as these ones on Amazon but the ones at Target are like better quality so if you want like red and black plaid PJs like this for your kids to match check out Target first because it's the same price better quality these are kind of like thin if you actually like if you live in a hotter place um, you might want to get the Amazon ones because these are pretty thin. The ones at Target were like um, softer and like warmer and I don't know. But um, I got these for the older kids. Um, this one is for the three-year-old. And then this one is for the seven-year-old. And they are just the exact same pair. But then for the baby, um, I actually ordered hers from like a different seller. It's not quite, quite the same. Like, the red on the babies, here, I'll show you. Like, here's the hat that comes with the baby. Oh, well, maybe my camera won't even pick it up. But it's more of, like, a cool-toned red. Like, slightly cooler-toned red. 
but the baby's one is like a sleep sack and so first of all it looks huge because it's a sleep sack um, but it just looks like this and my daughter is like super super tiny and so I wasn't sure if she was going to need like a newborn or a zero to three months or what so I just decided to go with a sleep sack instead of regular PJs that way um, I don't need to worry about it and then I love like especially like with these long sleep sacks I can't talk with these long sleep sacks like this I love being able to tie the bottom um, and tie their little feet in so they're like kind of swaddled I think it's super cute and then with this PJ, um, it also came with a little hat and a little bow. And so that's going to be super, super cute for pictures, I think. So there's that. Those are their matching PJs for this year. And then um, I also got both of the girls, baby girl and big girl, matching dresses off of Amazon. But these dresses are, first of all, they're huge. But the reviews on Amazon said that they shrink a lot. And so fingers crossed that they do shrink a lot because these are like this is the zero to three months. This is huge. This looks like it could easily be like a 24 months. Um, but it's from the brand. I don't know. It's 100% cotton though. So it's definitely going to shrink a lot. Hopefully it just shrinks to down to what I would expect a zero to three month size to be. They did not have it in newborn sizes. And so that's why I did the zero to three months. Again, might even still be a little too big, but they come in packs of two for $10. So that is like $5 a dress. I thought that was a really good deal. Um, there's a striped red one. And then this one I think is going to be the one that we use for like Santa pictures. It has like mistletoes all over it. And then again, I got the same thing for my older daughter, but hers is a 4T. And again, this looks like it could be a small and like big kids and it's supposed to be a 4T. So fingers crossed that they really do shrink as much as the reviews say. But um, again, red striped. And then we've got this guy um, with the mistletoes and I love the mistletoes. And then at Target, um, to go with those dresses, I also just got each of the girls a pair of white tights, each from Cat and Jack. I got the zero to three months, or not zero to three. These are the zero to six months. These are probably gonna be a little big. It says um, up to 25.5 inches and up to 16 pounds. And currently my daughter is like seven pounds. So these are probably gonna be like pretty stinking big on her. Um, so I don't know, hopefully we can make it work at least for like pictures and to keep her, it'll keep her legs warm at least. Like that's what it's supposed to do. And then these ones for um, my three year old. These are a size four to six X. Um, and I think they should fit her. They're like a little bigger than I would normally order, but just by looking at the, it says weight 36 to 54 pounds. They might be a little too big too, but um, they're cotton, they'll shrink, right? I just might have to wash all the clothes, wash and dry all the clothes in like hot water and like on the highest setting in the dryer to make them fit the girls, but it'll work. And then, oh, I totally forgot about this. Oh, I'll get to that in a second. But, um, and then this was actually going to be, um, the baby's Thanksgiving outfit. Um, if you saw my vlog from the first day of Vlogmas, I actually showed the Thanksgiving outfits that we, we ended up wearing. But um, this was just way too big for her. I got it in a zero to three months. And here are the little pants. Um, they say red on the website, but on the picture on the website and in real life, they actually are more like a burnt orange. I still think that they're a nice like color for fall and winter though. I think they're a little more on the fall side, but um, I'm gonna include them in this because the top says, oh dear. And so I think that's like good for Christmas too, cause dear, it almost looks like the way that this shirt is cut, it almost looks like it's meant to give like a crop top look. Am I the only one getting that kind of vibe from it? I don't know. Just cause it's like kind of a wide shirt and short. Maybe I've just gotten too used to like really like tiny slim onesies. Um, but yeah, I think that this is a really cute outfit. I think it would have been better for Thanksgiving. Um, but still, it's cute. And then, um, for my son, because he's been, like, more picky with his clothes lately, and all he wants to wear are, like, graphic t-shirts. And so, um, 
one thing that he loves is dinosaurs so i got this from target as well it's a long sleeve tee it's a medium um and like normal kid sizes and it's a let me take this sticker off it's a dinosaur with antlers and christmas lights and on the antlers there are ornaments in the shape of a bunch of different sports and so like perfect you know it has a little bit of everything t-rex some sports some christmas stuff um it's not as cute as the girls dresses in my opinion but he will like it nonetheless and that's all that really matters right and so normally like in the past we usually dress up a lot for santa pictures i think this year we're not going to dress up as much we're just gonna wear christmas shirts for santa pictures um so there's that and then this is for my older daughter the three-year-old um, because my sister got this like second hand at a second hand sale and I just think it's like the cutest little PJ um, but it's just like this little red like PJ dress and it's super cute it has little ruffles on the sleeves I have no idea let's see what the brand is Cavio um, so I don't know where it came from like I said she got it like a second hand shop but I just think it's so precious um, for the Christmas time. I was like just at Target a couple days ago and they have so so many like cute Christmas clothes especially for little girls for little boys um, at least the toddler boys they actually had like a lot of cute Christmas stuff but like for the little like normal size like regular boys not a whole lot of Christmas options but for the girls I had to like stop myself from going crazy because they had so many cute Christmas things for girls. And then from Amazon, um, I've already showed you guys one of these bows when I showed what um, the baby wore for Thanksgiving, when I showed all of our Thanksgiving outfits. But I got this big pack of bows off of Amazon. I actually got one of them, um, a bow exactly like this, off of eBay when I was pregnant, and I loved it so much. Uh, it was only like a dollar on eBay, but I loved it so much because it's like so stretchy and nice on baby's head that I bought like a big bulk pack of these bows in a ton of different colors. So here, I'll just go ahead and open them. I'll open this burgundy one since it's very festive. But they're kind of like the material of like pantyhose and they're super stretchy so they're not going to squeeze on your baby's head. And I just love them. Um, and so I needed them in like every color so she can have them for every outfit. Um, but there's a burgundy one, there was a dark green one that I showed in the last video, and there's also pink, black, like a coral, um, this is a really pretty color, it's like a, like, teal, a dark teal, you can't really tell with all the plastic on. We have a mustard yellow and a light yellow, and then a light purple, and a light, like, a light green I mint green color so it comes with a bunch of different colors and there's that and then the last thing that I totally forgot to show was baby girls first stocking um I'll link my what's in my kids stockings video from last year down below but um my three-year-old has a stocking almost identical to this but hers is like a baby blue with glittery snowflakes. So I got baby girl a white one with glittery snowflakes to match her big sister's stocking. And so that is the very last thing for this haul. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I know it's kind of a quick one and it's kind of like all over the place. But I wanted to show you a few of the holiday items that I picked up for the kids lately. As well as just some like clothes and accessories for the baby. Um, but that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, stay tuned for tomorrow's vlogmas video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.